I am Blin Bellet Ashiwashi. I am from Ethiopia. I am studying discrete mathematics. Uh, I am working with Professor Vera in this current mathematics group. Uh, I'm Leolin Kwete. I'm from Cameroon. I, I'm working in like pure mathematics, more specifically in arithmetic geometry. I'm a member of the group of uh, Professor Jessica Vincent. My mentor is Alexander Bettinoli, and I'm very happy to be in that research group. I mean, they are very nice and very helpful and supporting. Uh, let's go back uh, perhaps one or two years ago. How did you find out about the uh, YAM program and uh, why did you apply? Before a year ago, I was one of EMS students in EMS South Africa for structured masters. So I heard about YAM fellowship from EMS South Africa and I applied through recommendation of um, the EMS director. I hear about the YAM program when I was a student at EMS Ghana, like uh, 2021 and 2022. And yeah, I applied for the program, uh, but I also applied for another program in Italy at ICTP. Mm -hmm. uh, during my interview for the YAM, okay, I let them know that, yeah, I'm very interested by the program, but uh, I'm going to go to ICTP for the postgraduate diploma program. But uh, during my postgraduate diploma at ICTP, I received again the email from the academic director of EMS Ghana mm -hmm. that, yeah, I'm still eligible to apply for the young program. Mm -hmm. And still, I really wanted to come to Bonn because uh, I wanted to learn about the Langan program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I decided, yeah, I'm going to apply again for this program because and I... And experts here. Yeah, and, and, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. this time there were many centers involved, mm -hmm. but I specifically chose Bonn, and I chose my supervisor was... Yeah. I remember during my interview, my supervisor asked me, why do you want to come to Bonn? Mm -hmm. And I just answered, it's just only because I want to learn about the Langan program. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Could you tell us more about the application process? How did you apply? What were the first steps? And how many uh, rounds were there? Or uh, how many applicants? And so on. After I have submitted all my documents to the application pro for the application process, mm. uh, I had an interview with uh, Hausdorff Center organizers for the YAM program. Mm -hmm. And uh, after the inter in the interview, uh, I presented my AIMS project, what I did there. Mm -hmm. It was about traveling salesman problem, uh, which is about how we could solve this problem using machine learning, reinforcement learning specifically. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I also had an interview with my supervisor. Yeah, and just to discuss about what I have as a background for this research. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, after that interview, uh, she suggests me we will have an interview more for more uh, with the other research group mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. But before that interview, I got a confirmation email. For me, uh, I mean, the, the application was like, let's say, in three steps. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the first step is the selection among the students yes. at EMS Center, mm -hmm. at my EMS Center, specific EMS Ghana. Mm -hmm. So the academic director is going to choose, I mean, the qualified student. Mm -hmm. And she's going to submit their name. And now, the second step now is the... Uh, the selection by the committee from the half of center mm -hmm. and yeah and during that uh, uh, selection i have to present uh, one of my research project mm -hmm. i did not present the ems process project i present another one that i was working on during that time and i mean yeah it was a bit uh, new for me because they asked to present our project in one slide Ah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So they just require only one slide, 
-hmm. And yeah, but yeah, I managed to do it. It was it was a good experience for me too to like trying to summarize mm -hmm. my work like in some few sentences. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and after this interview now, uh I have to pass another interview now with my supervisor and my mentor who was who is a postdoc here. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I also with them they also asked me to present mm -hmm. my project and I present to them and they asked me more mathematical question, like more mm -hmm. deep question to also see what's my background. Mm -hmm. And I think at the end they were satisfied by my mm -hmm. presentation. Great. What did you have to, to do to get to Germany? To be, uh, you had to uh, get a visa or how did you get an apartment and things like that? Just these practical issues. Beside this issue, uh, the international office bond was really helpful, and the yam—I mean, the yam organizer the, mm. here in the Hausdorf Center also—they managed everything for us. Uh, when I applied for visa, uh, it was not long. It doesn't take long for a long time, mm -hmm. actually. Um, I think the. Uh, international office in here in Bonn uh, managed everything for us mm -hmm. for the fee for the application process and mm -hmm. for the flight everything mm -hmm. and uh, what it looked like the, the mm -hmm. University of Bonn they, uh, mm -hmm. we had an, uh, a meeting yeah. uh, with the international office to mm -hmm. see what it looked like the university mm -hmm. and After that, when we arrived here, they take care of us from the hot man of, <laughs> uh, to our room. Mm -hmm. uh, they, it was well managed. It was mm -hmm. full of organized things, so it was so nice. <laughs> Thank you. Did you, um, did you in any way, besides mathematics, prepare for the stay here in Germany? Did you... Uh, have had a look at the German culture or language or something like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, always when you want to move to a new country, you're also going to go and Google some stuff. I mean, what is the food there, how is the cost of the living, and yeah, houses. Yeah, I mean, I did, I did my exercise, I checked some of those stuff in in Google and mm -hmm. yeah I started to look at the language mm -hmm. yeah and yeah when I arrived here it's true that I really wanted to to learn to take the German course mm -hmm. and unfortunate for me when they open the application online since I mean it's the first arrive and the first <laughs> the first to be taken so i mean i was a bit late in the application i was there but i did a mistake when i was filling my form uh -huh. so when i repeat it was already too late i was in the waiting list and they never called me oh, so yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah i i look a bit about the culture and mm. since i was in italy before when i arrived in bonn i just See that this city is like those cities are like twins. Like mm. the only the only thing missing here is the sea, because Bonn and Trieste are almost the same city. Yeah. <laughs> I so I was quite comfortable here too. Okay. Yeah, you already answered your, my, my next question, but perhaps I can ask it to you. What were your first ex impressions when you come to Germany? Were you surprised by anything? I think especially here in Bonn, the peoples are so quiet like they don't like noise and I like that part mm -hmm. and I was so surprised on the climate okay. <laughs> okay. yeah it surprised me like um, it's completely different to what I know before just um, I have been in South Africa Even in Ethiopia, it's not the mm. same way they're like this one. Yeah, <laughs> so it's a little bit difficult, but we managed it. <laughs> I've heard before that there was some problem to get a bank account and things like that. But what were your experiences there? Yeah, I think uh, I need to thank the international office and the Hausdorff Center for like the organization of this young fellow in Bonn, like, yeah, this is a special organization because I know how usually it's difficult to move from 
mm. maybe your home country to a new country mm. if you are alone if you don't have support it's very difficult and mm. i mean uh, i have been moving around and i never saw like it's so well organized uh, i mean program like our young program like yeah from like let's say where you are coming from to the airport and everything was already arranged the apartment was booked the train ticket was booked I mean, even the, uh, I mean, the appointment at the city house was already booked for us. I mean, everything was just perfectly aligned. So, I mean, we were treated like babies. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. <laughs> and concerning the bank account, uh, yeah, I mean, when we arrived, uh, I, I remember the day we needed, I mean, we needed to open a German bank account and... I mean, Karen and uh, Anna. Anna just mm. took us up to the bank. And oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they helped us to mm. open the bank account and uh, they left. Mm. It was like, yeah, we are like babies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really thankful for that. It was, I mean, it was so nice. We didn't struggle about, I mean, administrative mm. stuff. They are taking care of everything. That's great to hear. Yeah. Then we, then we improved. Yeah. <laughs> um, Then you attended university courses, I think. Um, and what what were your first impressions about the mathematical education here? Did you did you listen to any lectures, and uh, was it easy for you to follow? Or yeah, I took some courses, uh, which is related with my research area, and um, I could say it's not easy to follow them because. Uh, they really have a strong background, mm. so it was not easy to follow them for me. Mm. Uh, but I took three courses, mm -hmm. but it was really helpful to see how the uh, education systems are going through and what it looked like. And if, we, I, if I'm planning to continue my education here in Germany, mm. uh, It was a good opportunity to see how it goes, mm. and it's really uh, 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 there are a lot of freedom, academic mm. freedom here yeah. in Germany. Also, mm. uh, beside the tests, mm. and it's the courses are elective, so mm. it's really interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, for me, yeah, I attended like in the, f uh, in the first semester, I mean, three courses. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there was not like quite hard for me to follow be because of my background already, because mm. I knew a bit about uh, the courses. But I can really say that, I mean, Bonn has a very high master program, like mm. really high and difficult, mm. from what I have observed. And I mean, If I want to compare uh, with my country mm. back home, I mean, the gap is so huge that, I mean, the master courses here are really, really tough. That, uh, yeah, 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 that's what I'm I can, sure. yeah, yeah, that's what I can <laughs> say. Mm, mm. And yeah, I mean, the courses uh, I, I took was so helpful for me, even in my project. Mm. Yeah, I mean, even this seven semester, I started to attend also some courses like I did algebra geometry one in the first semester mm. and I wanted to continue with algebra geometry two so mm. I started to also take that courses yeah I mean uh, this I mean my experience here let me see how good is the educational system in in Germany yeah mm. really good thank you Yes, when actually did you start your own research here? Um, and uh, you already mentioned who, who was your supervisor, but perhaps you can say a little bit more about the, um, about the work here. Um, what was your exact research topic here? I'm working in discrete mathematics, mm. specifically in combinatorial optimization research group. Mm. And I'm working with Professor Vera Tropp, mm. And uh, I could say I started the project from the beginning of the program because oh, okay. uh, I took the courses after, I mean, like, which is related with my uh, research. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I could say I started from the beginning of oh. the uh, program, but 
deeply after I complete the first semester. I start working on the uh, research deeply, but so far it's not completed. Mm. Uh, it's ah. big mm. projects, mm. so there are many researchers mm. and PhD students are working on it. Mm. So still it's open. <laughs> And what is the exact uh, question you are dealing with? The exact research question? Uh, the exact research question is the integrality gap of the Euclidean standard tree. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, uh, me, I'm working. Uh, I'm working with uh, Professor Jessica Finson, who is the principal supervisor, and I have a mentor. Mm -hmm. Uh, who is uh, Dr. Alexander Bettinoli, mm -hmm. and he's the, my contact person. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting with him every Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, when I started my project in January, mm -hmm. uh, I remember when we were discussing about uh, with Alexander what I want to do. I mean, I said, okay, this I come here for the Langan program. So, mm -hmm. okay, he suggested me to. Depending on my background, so I'm, okay, maybe you should start with uh, in dimension two for function field because in the courses uh, I take in the first semester, we already cover dimension one, like mm -hmm. class field theory. Mm -hmm. And okay, he suggested me, okay, let's look at doing field work. And he solved this problem for in dimension two for function field. I say it's going to be a good introduction for you to learn about the Langdon program. So he gave me a paper mm -hmm. uh, titled Introduction to Dreamfield Module. Mm -hmm. He asked me to read, to introduce myself to the notion of Dreamfield Module because those objects are now used for the proof of the Langland uh, conjecture for gel 2 or function field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. So I, I walk, I read the paper mm -hmm. and when I finish, I, we need now, I mean, our big goal was really to understand that proof, but I mean, there's, there's no a paper where the whole work is. It's just mm. cut like this and, ah, yeah, and mm. yeah, and look at the time needed, I mean, to get all, everything together and maybe produce a whole document. We say, okay, maybe we may not have time for that. Mm. So I started to look a new research question. I mean, and I mean, my supervisor does not propose me anything, so I need to read the literature. Mm -hmm. I mean, trying to look for gaps and if I can come out with my own mm -hmm. uh, research question uh, related to the infill modules. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I did it for like maybe two weeks, but at the end, I remember that, oh, I did some work at Ems. <laughs> And since, uh, I mean, this, this object called the module are really analog to elliptic curve. And since at Ames I work on elliptic curve, why cannot do, trying to do something analog to what I did at Ames? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I wrote a problem. Mm -hmm. I present to my mentor and he said, okay, this makes sense. You can, oh, you can work on this and you can go on. Yeah, and this is what I've been doing. So my, the title of my, project is drain field module and mm. application. Mm. So my first application was on class field theory mm. and the second application is my own research which is like Galois module structure over function field. Besides uh, the contact to your supervisors and mentors, had you any other contacts with students, uh, postdocs, professors or the other young fellows and so on? We had an opportunity uh, to meet other young fellow here in Bonn mm. and in Munich also. Mm. Uh, it was good opportunity to share our experience, what we are doing mm. on the research and how we are looking for the opportunities for the next step. Mm. And in the research group, <laughs> uh, for me, um, our research center is in the Artemium, in the museum, mm. mathematics museum, so uh, it was not easy to get an office there, so I am a little bit far from the research group, mm. just uh, and I should knock the door before I enter <laughs> to my <laughs> supervisor, so it's really uh, not 
interesting to go there every time for me. Like it was not easy to meet other uh, PhD students and uh-huh. other researchers, uh-huh. but I uh-huh. got the chance to attend the workshops and seminars when there is a workshop mm. or when there is a seminar mm. my supervisor invited me and mm. I joined them mm-hmm. yeah I think in March we have this meeting with all the young fellow and from especially for me I really enjoy the meeting mm. meet other people was so nice and yeah this exchange mm. about our research we discuss about what we are doing mm. and concerning maybe uh, other student in in Bonn, I mean, I think it's it's so difficult to make like contact with students who are already here maybe for a long time. I mean, I feel like they already have their own group and their own friends. So I mean, it was a bit difficult for me to have friendship even in class. Like yeah, so I was a bit isolated. Like yeah, mm-hmm. but uh, in my research group, I'm so comfortable. Mm-hmm. People they are so nice. I have uh, three office mates that I'm exchanging with, I mean, almost the time. And yeah, one of my office mates is also a student of my supervisor, so mm. we usually talk a lot. And in my research group, we have a special day on Thursday that we are taking lunch all together. Mm. Yeah, it's also a nice moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I, I really enjoy being in that research group. Mm-hmm. What do you think could be long-term benefits for you after having visited uh, this program here? As a mathematician, like, <laughs> uh, mathematics is not a simple and easy subject. It's too mm. broad and it's not only about the matter of numbers. Mm. Like, it's outside numbers, it's... Uh, uh, I could say it's a real life thing. So, mm. uh, <laughs> like I did masters before, and I also did structure masters at Ames, mm. South Africa, and I'm also here for. Uh, I was here for the past nine months, mm. but still there are a lot of things to build to to do. Still a lot of things to learn. So. Yeah, I learned it's two broad things, like mm. even in a single stream, mathematics is too wide. Mm. I, yeah, I learned this thing and here in Germany, I learned uh, we had a different kind of cultures, we had a different kind of uh, behaviors and mm. so on. So. Mm. Uh, just how we could be committed for everything to be to continue our social life mm. or to continue our academic journey uh, yeah i got a lot of experience <laughs> <laughs> yeah mm, yeah i mean if i want to talk about like the benefit of this program for my career mm. i mean the first thing i would say is i i i mean i Gain mentors, like these are really helpful when you want to pursue an academic career, you need mentor. And here I can say that, yeah, I got two mentors, which is my supervisor and my mentor for the young fellow. I mean, they are really supportive. And even in my process of application for PhD, they are really helpful, everything. And yeah, I mean, I think this is the first, the first thing I can say, okay, this is really important for me, like having this contact, with these great people here in Bonn is something like, it's not like everybody will have that opportunity to be in contact with so great mathematician. Mm. Yeah. And in terms of like uh, more academic, yeah, the courses I took in the first semester was like really helpful and I know they are going to help me if mm. I'm continuing in this direction. And furthermore, the, my project I did here since yeah, I'm working on it, I hope I'm going to get some result that maybe I can publish, mm-hmm. and this is also going to be really helpful in my in my career. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now uh, about the 
culture and everything. Yeah, I learned about the beer history. <laughs> Born. Yeah. We had a city to organize by the international office. That was so interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I also learned, I mean, the culture is different. And yeah, it's also, it's always nice to see how pe other people behave or what are the culture to try to see how you can. Mm -hmm. Always fits into, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was a great experience for me, yeah. Great. So, what have, what have you seen of Bonn and the environment? <laughs> have you have you visited anything here in the, uh, close to, close to Bonn or in Bonn? Museums or the um, the Siebengebirge or something like that? Yeah, we had a chance uh, to visit. Colon and uh, in Munster also when mm. we uh, go there for the uh, last YAM meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a chance to visit Munster mm. briefly with the tour guide. Yeah, mm. <laughs> and yeah, I have got the chance to visit uh, Colon, uh, Munich, mm. Berlin, oh, great. and yeah. outside. Uh, Germany, yeah, mm. I was in Paris last oh, week, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, it's nice. Great. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah, I mean, to me, okay, usually I like to walk, so mm. when I'm a bit like tired or I mean, I already think too much, I already do so much math, I like to go and take a walk outside, so mm. I use this walk time to discover a bit about Bon City, going just around walking and get lost. <laughs> yeah, and try my way to come back. Yeah, I was doing these things during the weekend sometime, yeah. And yeah, also when they upgrade our ticket to the Dutch ticket, and yeah, I used now the opportunity to explore, I mean, other city. And usually during the weekend, I was just trying to just take a train, let's go to the city and mm -hmm. see what's there and come back mm -hmm. and yeah. And yeah, I also visit Cologne. Yeah, I mean just a few weeks ago for this UEFA European Champions. Ah. Yeah, so yeah, it was quite nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I even won Have some. You seen the game, Have you seen the game? No, I no, didn't no, I didn't no. stay for the game, but ah, okay. I mean when I arrived there there was they organized a small game where you have to shoot a ball in a ah, small area yes. and yeah i went to try for my first try i put the ball inside and they give me some packet some wow. gift great yeah, yeah. i think great. this this was one of the, this was one of these ah, <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. so yeah i yeah i explore a bit around the place and mm -hmm. yeah that's why i can say okay this city is really nice mm -hmm. I was so surprised on the uh, their architecture, like ah, yeah. they are too old, mm. but still uh, it remains like new and mm. uh, their, at, our, our, uh, their architecture system was so nice, which mm. means like uh, it uh, was about uh, 400 years ago, mm. there, the houses here in Bonn mm. are more than 500, 400 mm. years ago. So, but they're, uh, they're so beautiful. Mm. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thank you. What advice would you give to future young fellows? Yeah, uh, my, my first advice to, I mean, future, future young fellow is, yeah, for me, they have to, like, work hard so they know that they are going to really have the support of their mentor if they want to continue like in this academia career. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also they should try to enjoy their stay here in Bonn because I know it can be stressful. Mm -hmm. You can really feel lonely mm -hmm. and yeah, they I mean they have to try to go out, I mean, not just because me, I, at some point I stayed too much at home that I was feeling, oh, I'm going to, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was really feeling alone, like, no one to, yeah, my, beside my fellow here in Bonn, mm -hmm. the interaction, the, there was not too much interaction, yeah, mm -hmm. but fortunate, at least I was not alone in the program, they were there that, okay, we can sometime meet and talk, discuss, laugh, yeah, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because I mean, you are not going to make French friendship in like easily in Germany. People are more reserved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Not all of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, the second thing I would like to tell them is okay. Uh, the young the young program is like a research and internship for nine months. I mean, mm -hmm. when you arrive here, you don't have to start to sleep. They need to start already look for the next step. Mm -hmm. As soon as they arrive, they need to start looking for the next step of their career. If they want to apply for PhD or whatever, they should start early as possible, but not wait until the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yeah, and also uh, every time they have a problem, I mean, for people here in Bonn, I mean, just contact two people in the, the international office or the house mm -hmm. center, or you send an email to Karen or mm -hmm. <laughs> to Joanna. I mean, you are sure that your problem is going to get solved. <laughs> Yeah, they don't have to stay with, if they have any kind of problem, they don't have to stay with the problem with them. They could just share what is going on with either, I mean, Karin or Joanna. Mm -hmm. And for sure the solution is going to, because I, me, I did it personally. I mean, I, I faced several problem and every time the solution come out, yeah. What advice do you have for us? What could, how could we improve our program? Yeah. This is for me, I mean, this is the most difficult question of this interview. <laughs> Because, I mean, things have been so improved and so well organized that, I mean, I don't know what I could add. Uh, maybe in terms of the academic, in the academic part, like, uh, it's really important for the supervisor and the student to really discuss mm. the project. So uh, since the time is short, uh, to really discuss and depending on the background of the student to see, okay, this project can really fit and the, the student can make something interesting in mm. like, let's say nine months or I mean six months, mm. like can produce some good work. Yeah. Mm. I mean, this is an important part of this program because I mean, if you come here and you just don't do like, you know, sometimes you cannot feel proud of yourself. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Now, concerning the organization, yeah, mm. <clears throat> I remember when I arrived, I wanted to do some seminar courses, yeah. but unfortunately, it looked like they have what they call preliminary meeting mm. for the seminar courses, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. which take place when we are still in our home country or we are not yet oh, in Bonn. Okay. So when you arrive here, they are going to say, okay, we already have the preliminary team. We know who is going to present this, 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 mm -hmm. and we cannot get in into this. Mm. Yeah. So maybe uh, since maybe uh, the result of the YAM program is usually like in July like this, if people can already start to look at what they want to do, when, which kind of courses they want to take, when they mm. they are going to be in born yes. they can i don't know they can look at which if they are seminar so mm. they can contact the professor to see if they can be part of the preliminary meeting and mm. trying to present during that seminar ah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah this is yeah mm. Mm. now i mean <laughs> for the rest i mean everything is already the house the, the i mean the travel to come to born mm. i mean i will speak at the Uh, Banoff, mm. by I mean someone from the international office. Yes. She just bought us to my apartment. She did everything. And, yeah, mm. I mean for the organization, <laughs> I don't have anything to mm. to add. I mean everything's already for me. It's it's already okay. Okay, as he said, mm. besides the organization, everything is so nice. Like mm. uh, it was well organized, and beside the academia. Um, I would like to say something like um, we have been here for the past nine months mm -hmm. but uh, we don't have any documents as evidence like oh. we can put it as in our CV but mm -hmm. we don't have any paper to be here like the only thing what we have is the recommendation from our supervisors mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. uh I hope that's my recommendation for the next program. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. And perhaps also you said you have sometimes feel a bit lonely. Is that correct? Perhaps we one could improve the social program or something. Yeah. Uh, 
I remember at Ems, they even organized our social life. If, if, yeah, because I mean, they, at Ems, I mean, the program is so stressful mm. because you are like working almost 24 by 24 in a center where you are always. So usually after two weeks, they are going to organize some party for students. Mm. After each three weeks, because they have this block of three week courses, intensive. Mm. At the end, maybe you have an exam. And after that, they give you maybe a weekend now just to have some fun and yeah and mm -hmm. it's like that and because there's no all at ems i remember there's no real time to go out or having so they are organized mm -hmm. even australia but yeah it's good that we have our freedom mm -hmm. to go where we want to mm -hmm. visit what we want to visit that is that is really nice but mm -hmm. uh I, I mean about the social life uh, yeah i think like the tour we did for the bond city mm -hmm. tour i mean if they they do it at the beginning of the program, like to learn about the PA history and those kind of coming out, going out is, mm. I think is, is really good. Me, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every bar where we went, we have to take mm. <laughs> a, glass <laughs> a glass of beer. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was. It so was, you, you like the, the Cologne beer here? The beer and Cologne. Yeah. Beer. The, yes? the coach. The yeah. coach. I love it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like coach. It. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's something to improve about the social mm. life or if, I mean, if, yeah, maybe it's difficult, like, we are just here in, in the initial at 17, mm. and if all the young fellow could be in the same apartment, it's ah. going to be, I think, yeah, it's going, because sometimes you are even in an apartment when even with your neighbor, you don't really exchange or mm. something, yeah. Sure. Yeah, if I mean the young could be in the same apartment, I'm sure that mm. they are going to have more good mm -hmm. interaction, even in the evening, weekend, and it's going to mm. be nice. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, and yeah, if sometime they can organize some. I mean, yeah, the meeting with other fellow is also good. I mean, mm. me, I, I mean, meeting my other fellow from Africa and so on. I mean, I was so happy. Like, mm. I talk that. I mean, that those two day. I mean, I talk like I never talk with people here mm. since I arrived. Yeah, it was also good. Mm. Yeah. Now, what what are your plans for the future? What uh, what are the next steps in your career? I'm really interested on discrete mathematics, mm -hmm. so I have a plan to pursue my study in this stream, mm -hmm. and so I'm looking for a PhD opportunity. Mm, yeah, my plan is like really to continue my career in arithmetic geometry. Yeah, because I mean, that, I mean, uh, when I was in Cameroon, and yeah, I wanted really to work in arithmetic geometry, but unfortunately for me, there was no one to supervise me in that area in my country. So that what led me to start to look in opportunity abroad. So yeah, and I have been passed through so many international institution mm. up to I arrive in, in Bonn. And I know this is something which is really, uh, will, will be benefit for my country, mm. like in, even for Africa in general, because I mean, even look at in Africa, there are few people, mm. I mean, that I know that are working in this area and in my country, no one. Yeah, no one. No one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. few day ago, I was working, I was talking with my supervisor, in uh, at Ems, who is a German, who is a professor at the University of Dresden, mm. and he was talking about algebra geometry, and he told me that he's, he's a lecturer at Ems, Ghana. He's in Africa almost every year, and he told me that he doesn't know anyone who's working in algebra geometry in Africa. I mean, mm. it's his knowledge. He doesn't really know. So the, these are fields that we are still behind mm. yeah, in Africa, and this was my, like, my main motivation to start to look mm. opportunity abroad. So... Actually, I'm applying for PhD mm. position. Like maybe in one week, I have an interview at the University of Trieste mm. for a position there. Mm. Yeah, I okay. I I got a supervisor at Ulm University. Mm. He he's ready to supervise me. So we are trying to apply for funding mm -hmm. for the DED funding. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, and if I don't have something, maybe to start. This September, I'm planning to maybe 
go to for in France to do like a M2 master uh, yeah master 2 oh. just for this year to not stay at home maybe why I'm waiting for this the the idea perhaps one one day you could be the first supervisor in in this field in, in your country <laughs> Yeah, that's my dream. I I want to open a research group in my country. That's my that's my my dream. This is my goal, and it's what I'm fighting for. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything you want to you add? Some conclusion remarks? Okay. Finally, I would like to uh, thank Professor um, Franka Hoffman. Mm. Yeah, to create this chance for yes. us, for all Africans, yes. this is a good opportunity to be here, like as a visiting student, mm. to find an opportunity for future and to be proud as an African mm. and so on. Just it's not easy uh, to come here mm. and to pursue our academia, mm. but through this academic opportunity. It's really uh, helpful, so I'm grateful to her and thanks for the uh, international office here in Bonn. Thanks mm. to the Hausdorf Center for the organizer, for everything. It was well organized and thanks for taking care of us from the beginning to the end of the program. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can just say like, yeah, thank you uh, to, I mean, the organizer of this program. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yeah. Mm, I'm also really thankful to my supervisor and my mentor. I mean, yeah, those people really like support me a lot. And yeah, and they all, they all uh, even, they helped me to have an extension for my young program here. Like I'm going to stay for more three months and continue to work on my on my project, mm. and I'm really grateful for that.